Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Mallory Greer. And I'm Samantha Wiesnath. We seniors have a week left of school, but there's still so much left to do. Graduation rehearsal, two breakfasts, senior awards night. I know, but lucky for us, we have all the info seniors need coming up on today's show. Plus, we have a recap of a fantastic game from last night. All that and much more because GTV News starts, starts right now. now. Welcome back, Geneva. Here are your morning announcements for Wednesday, May 17, 2017. Seniors, you can pick up your cap and gowns today during all lunch periods. You must bring your student ID in order to pick it up. If you are not able to pick it up, then you can get it after graduation rehearsal Friday, May 26. You can also purchase tickets for the senior breakfast. Graduating seniors, please check the list of names by the Textbook Cafe for outstanding textbook fines. These fines must be paid in order for you to graduate. Fines must be paid by the Senior Breakfast, which is next Friday. And congratulations to all the students that volunteered here at GHS. Students volunteered over 21,000 hours in the past 12 months, an amazing accomplishment. For those of you who turned in give forms and volunteered 20 or more hours this school year, please stop by the cafeteria during lunch hours today to pick up your give certificate and a sweet treat. Thank you for all your time and your giving to the community. Last night, the girls' soccer team had a huge victory. That's right, they did, and GTV reporter Diego Cardenas has the recap. The Geneva girls soccer team took on Lake Park last night winning 6-0. Our team really worked together and we passed really well and everyone contributed in the offense. It was really good that we all were able to contribute off the bench and on the field. This makes 19 wins to their season. We had a lot of different kids step up and score for us which has been a strength of ours this season. We're very deep, we have a very deep bench. The team's worked really hard and we've really, like, we've got a lot of new girls in the team and they've really contributed all in this, all the same. And the coaches are really supportive and they've helped us throughout the season. For GTV News, I'm Dio Cardenas. Congratulations girls on an awesome win. And make sure you head out to Burgess Field on Friday night to support the Lady Vikings. And now for some news outside the halls. A Texas man is demanding a refund from his date because she was texting while they were on a movie date in Austin. Brandon Vesmar is seeking $17.31 in damages, the same amount he claims to have spent taking his date to a 3D showing of Guardians of the Galaxy. His date said she was texting a friend who needed her. Chelsea Manning, the former Army intelligence analyst behind one of the largest information leaks in U.S. history, was released from military prison earlier today. Manning was convicted in 2013 of stealing 750,000 pages of documents and videos before leaking them to WikiLeaks. Known then as Bradley Manning, was sentenced to 35 years in prison on 20 different accounts. Despite her crimes, Manning was one of the first service members to access transgender health care benefits under new policy and the first to be approved for gender reassignment surgery in military prison. Reminder to model UN delegates interested in applying for leadership positions next year, your applications are due tomorrow to Mrs. Mondel. With school coming to an end, it's the perfect time to start looking for that summer job. Check out the job board located across from the nurse's office. Not seeing anything you're li you like? Check out snagajob.com for more offers. See Mrs. Warren in the counseling and advising office for any questions. Anyone who has art from first semester can bring it to the art room before Friday to be put in an art show. The art show will take place Friday from 5 to 8 p.m. in the Commons. If you're interested in Costa Rica and immersing yourself in the culture and natural beauty, then join them for a spring break 2018. There are still some spots available to go ziplining, visiting a coffee plantation, see a volcano crater, and even do a service project. Talk to Senorita Nolan or Senor Egan if you're interested.
And now here's three to know before we go. Seniors, be sure to pick up your cap and gowns in the cafeteria during all lunch periods today. Seniors can also buy your senior breakfast tickets today and tomorrow during all lunch periods in the cafeteria for $8. And seniors, Saturday is the senior bike ride. Meet at the Diagonal Drive at 10 a.m. You can also still purchase t-shirts for $10. That's all the news we have for you today, Geneva. I'm Samantha Wiesnath. And I'm Mallory Grant. Have a wacky Wednesday. <laughs>